Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about performance testing introduction. We will know what is performance testing, why performance testing is required, how it is done, and who are the different parties involved in the performance testing activities. So we will start by first understanding what is performance testing. So performance testing is a non-functional testing. So there are like two types of uh, software testing. One is the functional and another one is the non-functional. So uh, functional testing checks for the functional aspects of the application. Like if we take an example of a search operation on a web page. So it will check like whether the search is returning correct results or not. Whereas non-functional testing will check uh, the non-functional aspects such as the security, uh, performance or the usability. So performance testing is the non-functional testing wherein we test the application under the user load. So how the application will behave when let's say 100 or 50 or 1000 users load is applied on the application. Right, so that is the per uh, performance testing. Uh, it checks the application speed, scalability and stability. So speed as to like when uh, user load is applied on the system, how fast or how slow will be the system. So that we check in the performance test. Uh, we check the scalability as well. Like uh, if we increase or decrease any system resource like uh, an app server or a database server or any infra component. So how will application behave in that case that we also check in the performance testing. Uh, another aspect of the application that we check in performance testing is the stability and that is how stable the application when uh, the number of users are applied on the system. So let's say suddenly uh, the application starts receiving more traffic. So how stable the application will be in that case. So that aspect we also check in the performance testing. Uh, so that is uh, the performance testing introduction and there are some different goals of the performance testing like uh, in a project uh, these are the typical goals that uh, performance testing is done for uh, the first one is to anticipate before going live uh, like before we go uh, live on the uh, production we anticipate like we will be uh, receiving some x number of users load and then do the performance testing so to anticipate that load and anticipate the application behavior in that load, we do the performance test so that we have a fair idea as to how application will behave. Okay. Uh, another goal is to reproduce any crash. So let's say your application starts crashing after a certain number of users are uh, applied on the system. So to reproduce that scenario and to identify like what's causing the application failure, we do the performance testing. Another one is to identify the infra requirement. So let's say you are uh, planning to go live and you are not sure like how many uh, uh, the infra like what infra requirement you have like how many uh, app server or the database server or web server will you require for handling this much amount of traffic. So to identify those requirements we do the performance testing. And another and the last one is to account for the future growth. So let's say after uh, maybe six months or one year of your application operation, uh, your application gets popular and uh, it starts uh, receiving more traffic. So in that case, what will be the application behavior? So that uh, future growth we check in the performance testing as well. So these are some performance testing goals and uh, to achieve those goals, we do uh, these types of test in the performance uh, testing. So these are uh, different uh, types of performance test. Uh, so the uh, load test, uh, typically this is uh, the most common one. Uh, so the load test is conducted uh, for short duration, like one or two hours to understand the application behavior under uh, specific uh, user load, like 100 users load, how applications uh, starts behaving when only 100 users are continuously applied for one or two hours. So that we check in the load test. Uh, stress test as in we test the application uh, under the extreme amount of load. It's similar to the load test but uh, the number of users load or the number of uh, requests per second load applied on the system is high. Uh, maybe uh, if we are targeting 100 users so in, in stress test we go for like 250 users load and check the application behavior. The soak test is similar to the load test. The only difference is 
uh, we run this oak test for the longer duration like if we run the load test for one or two hours duration uh, soak test is typically done for uh, more than you know eight hours or four hours or 24 hours so that is soak test uh, another one is the spike test wherein we check uh, the application behavior when sudden load is applied to the system let's say in any in, in e-commerce scenario uh, some flash sale happens and uh, number of users are increased uh, suddenly to let's say instead of 100 let's say it starts receiving 500 users suddenly so what happens in that case to check that we do the spike test uh, another one is the volume test uh, it is conducted to check the application behavior when a uh, huge volume of data is applied to the system so uh, let's say your application is uh, receiving like there is an upload application and uh, your application receiving uh, is receiving uh, a large file of maybe 500 MB or 1 GB file so in that case how the application behaves that uh, is checked under the volume test uh, so the failover test is uh, is to ch check the application recovery uh, in case uh, the one of the application component is failed so let's say your you have two database server and one of them goes down so how the application handles that scenario that is uh, done in the failover, fail, uh, failover test uh, step up and breakpoint test is pretty much similar uh, wherein the application uh, load is uh, like gradually increased to the point wherein we want to test the performance and uh, in the step up test we uh, gradually increase the user load and then uh, check the application performance when uh, uh, the breakpoint test is basically increasing the load and uh, getting it to the point where application starts breaking so that is the breakpoint test so these are different types of tests that we do in the performance testing so we will know about uh, these uh, this load test types in the further videos uh, this is just a high level overview so now that we know what is the performance testing let's see why do we do the performance test so typically performance uh, should be considered as a feature because users don't like the poorly performing systems so let's say if your application is taking longer time to respond to the user queries so user will start uh, getting frustrated and they will abandon your uh, site or your mobile application so to avoid that we do the performance testing uh, users also don't like the uh, unstable system so let's say they are trying to make a payment and suddenly your application goes down so in that case the user will be even more frustrated because the payment is involved so to avoid that and to uh, to make your application stable uh, we do the performance testing and it is uh, it is known that a poor performing system results in the uh, loss of sales and the reputation so uh, your sales and reputation is at stake so performance testing is absolutely essential in that case uh, performance testing basically uh, gets out all these metrics like we know the maximum load the system can handle uh, find out the responsiveness under the load let's say your application is uh, expected to support 100 users concurrent 100 users but it starts breaking under uh, only 50 users so that uh, that needs to be checked as well and uh, we know about so that 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 uh, explains the maximum load your system can handle okay uh, we also know about the responsiveness under the load um, like when 100 users load is applied on the system how it behaves like will it be uh, responsive will it be non-responsive so that aspect we check in the performance test uh, we also identify the system behavior under different load conditions uh, so let's say we are targeting 100 concurrent users but suddenly it goes to 110 120 so what happens in that case so we check that as well in the performance testing so uh, performance testing uh, tries to uncover all the scenarios and lastly it uh, helps us identify any performance bot bottleneck so to uh, avoid getting the performance issues in the production we do the performance testing okay so this is why the performance testing is important uh, in your uh, project 
So how the performance testing is done? Uh, typically, doing performance testing manually is not practical because uh, getting hundred of users uh, manually hitting your system is you know sort of uh, not a not an ideal way of testing uh, performance testing your system. So to avoid that, we use the uh, specialized performance testing tools, and uh, these tools typically create uh, virtual users. Uh, which will carry out the business transactions on your uh, application. So what happens is uh, you record your script and then you run those scripts uh, on your system. Uh, so basically load test uh, tool will create a virtual users uh, similar to the real world user wherein they will carry out different operation like search, add to cart, uh, checkout and all those scenarios. And uh, to, uh, to generate a uh, more number of users load on the application, the load test tool use the uh, concept called load generators. So let's say if you want to generate a large amount of load of let's say 1000, 2000, 50,000 even. So to generate that amount of load, we require number of systems like 50 systems, uh, 50 physical uh, systems. So those are systems are called uh, load generator basically. So in each system we have the uh, load test tool and they uh, execute the load test on behalf of uh, you. Okay, so these are called the load generators. And at the end after the load test uh, scripts are run, it provides the different performance metrics like the response time, the uh, errors, uh, the throughput of the application. So all these metrics are provided by the performance testing tools. Uh, so these are some commercial and open source performance test tools. Uh, the commercial tools include uh, some popular uh, like the load runner, neo load, web loads, uh, load complete uh, and all those things. Uh, the open source tools have a lot of variety as well. La, the Apache JMeter is one of the most popular ones. Uh, others include the Gatling, K6, uh, Locust, Tsung and all those things. So this is the list of all the commercial and the open source tools. And at last we will see who are the people responsible for the performance testing in a project. So in a typical project testers play a key role in performance testing because uh, those are the ones who create a test script then execute the test script on the application and come out with the results. But uh, collaboration between different uh, people in the project is essential. So if you see in a typical performance testing project, testers are the one who do the overall performance testing activities like uh, running the test script, creating a test script and in case they notice any performance issue, so they report it. And in turn developers will find out whether there is an application issue or the infra or database issue. So in case there is an application issue, so the developers will be responsible for fixing that. And if you find, if they find that uh, the issue is with the infrastructure or the database, so they will uh, inform these two DevOps person or uh, DBA person. Okay. So uh, collaboration between these parties is absolutely essential in the performance testing. And at last, the business analysts are uh, are required to have the clear cut performance requirements. So those are the ones who come up with the uh, performance requirements typically. So these are the different parties involved in the performance testing activities in a project.